It's a deconstructed chicken salad. What is a deconstructed chicken salad? So, in my mind, the chicken salad normally has a base of the greens and you know slivers of chicken and the dressing over the top. So this, I think, is more it's like a cross between like a salad and a roast chicken, sort of just almost like a garden. <laughs> Jovan, to me, that looks like a chicken salad, and this is master chef. Today I made you a chicken roulade stuffed with uh, pepper juice, spinach, some cheese sauce. I like how you cook the chicken. I like the pepper in there. You know, I would have liked a bit more of that cheesiness in your sauce. Davinia, did you cut the fat off? Just on the end, but the other part was seared. You miss that fat. You miss the crispy, rendered fat. Josette, there's definitely elements on your plate that I really enjoyed. But there's also one or two elements that I'm not too sure about. So I did a seared beef carpaccio. To me, this is a safe dish for you. It's a tasty plate and it's an attractive looking plate. Well, we'll have to wait and see if it's good enough. Right, so I've made a beef wellington. It's a valiant attempt at something you've never done before. Some people win MasterChef on those and some people go home early because those grits didn't work out. I did a valentina chicken, which I, I stuffed with pistachios, mushrooms, uh, spring onions, and feta cheese. You managed to get it on the plate. Some things just didn't go. The, the downfall of this dish is that it tastes of too many things and then ultimately nothing. After seeing everyone else's dishes today, with the exception of a handful of people, it's, it's anybody's game at this stage. I did a chicken, basil, cashew nut and chili spring rolls. We love people that take risks in MasterChef, but people who take calculated risks, we love even better. So was this calculated? How you manage to marry those two flavors, I just don't know. Thank you. None of them is saying anything that can give me maybe a heads up. So I'm standing there shaking and wondering what's going to happen to me. Philippa. I'll say one thing for you, Philippa. You stress a good dish. <laughs> Let's see until you, well, after you've tasted it. Whether or not putting bone marrow as a filling turns out to be a moment of genius or your complete undoing, I'm going to leave to Benny and Ruben. Beautiful, delicate ravioli. You've shown great technique. Thank you, Philippa. Philippa. Gillian. Hopefully the taste will show them that, you know, I can combine flavors and that I do have skills. You've 
already tasted better food than this from you. We know how good you could be. Spogas, bring us your plate. I prepared for you guys a uh, chicken breast stuffed with um, spinach, pepper juice, and feta cheese wrapped in parma ham with some um, Provencal sauce on the side. I feel the balance of the dish, crunchiness with also a bit of acidity to it. Very tasty dish. I'll tell you what I didn't like. The vegetables. What I loved is everything else. Thank you. Thank you. There was a hell of a lot of talent and passionate people here today. We have a lot to weigh up to take into consideration. Potential, sheer bloody-minded enthusiasm, the willingness to drive off a cliff in pursuit of a great dish, and we'll have to take under consideration. So the next time we see you guys, we're gonna tell you whether you're going back home to your own kitchen, or that you're gonna be living out your dream in the MasterChef kitchen. See you next time.